Thank you for watching this quick video on the, the current generation of the intervention form. Uh, at the end of the, uh, after you complete the form, please feel free to give me com uh, feedback either in the hall or over email or something about how this form works for you. Um, it's a work in progress. So here's the form as it currently looks. We've changed it to include an intervention block, so you can select uh, an inter intervention block, uh, pre-filling in the student's first and last name, teacher concerns. And now I'm going to assume for a moment that I have not had the opportunity to contact parents or parents haven't gotten back to me, but I still want to get this form done. So I'm going to leave this portion blank. Um, and I have an option between, yes, I want to submit the form, take me to that page, or I'd like to add more information on this student. If I click this and hit next, it says I've um, clicked submit to finish. If I don't want to do that, I can click back and then switch to add more information on the student. And click next. Now this takes me to a big, <coughs> you can see over here, big long list of the uh, information that came from the old paper form, all the check boxes. <coughs> excuse me, and the information up here. Um, again, this is a draft, and also this is, this is optional, but it is very useful information to keep on students. So things like uh, attitude towards school, Nathan has a uh, concerning attitude towards school and academics. Um, he is also concerning in his uh, social appropriateness and developmental. Uh, he has decent he has pretty good emotional, uh, emotional resistant, uh, resilience, and so on. So I can get down here to the tier one summary. So the things that I have tried in class, um, perhaps Nathan, it doesn't matter where I seat him. I, tr I try giving him preferential seating, but it's not effective. Uh, however, he responds to his peers, and so intentional grouping works. Uh, short and reduce assignments. I haven't tried that one yet with him and alternative teaching strategies, that's just not appropriate for this kid for whatever reason, and go on and fill this information out. Now, and this is a new idea that I want to bounce off of, off of you folks, but having some sort of summary of the Tier 2 interventions in there. So, a first intervention, the date, the teacher who is providing it, and comments or performance summary, and then a second intervention and the same information. At the end, I can click Submit. So I'm going to do that right now. And it comes up with these three menus. It says, see previous responses, edit your response, submit another response. Remember, I did not put in information on parent contacts. So what if, oh, and the system set up to send me an uh, email. So I just got this, Google Forms. And I can edit my response here as well. So I can close this, come to the email, edit response. So that allows me to come back in and provide a summary of parent communication. So now I have added the summary of parent information. I can hit uh, now. I want to just go back to directly submitting it. I can hit next, submit, and it comes up with this. My response has been recorded. I can come back to my email. I can show that I have a new message, and there it is: the summary of parent contact and communication. This allows me to save copies of the intervention uh, that I filled out 
an email. It also gives me an opportunity to go back and forth uh, filling in parts of um, intervention forms, um, but not completing them. And thanks. I think that's uh, I think I think that's it. And give me let me know what you think. Thanks.